you know, I went to my room and I saw like, I forget how many pairs of shoes I had, like 10 or eight. I don't know, so many. And <laughs> there were some shoes that I have not worn in like three or four years. And some shoes had tags on them, like the brand new shoes and stuff like that, that I have not worn. And I was thinking to myself, you know, like with me, I don't, let me tell you something about me. I don't really care about dressing up anymore. You know, I used to like, you know, like wearing certain shoes for certain outfits and stuff like that. And I am not that way anymore. I am just really, to be honest with you, I am just a boring person now. <laughs> a really boring person, which I don't really care about. So I saw these shoes and I'm like, well, you know, I don't dress up anymore. You know, I don't wear those expensive jeans and shirts and stuff like that. You know, I gave those clothes away, you know. So since I am not going to wear these shoes, let me give them away. So I just gave away all of them or mm, I forget how many pair I did. I'm not sure. I may have to look it up. Give me a second, please. Like I said, I gave away, you know, my other clothes and stuff because I knew that I was not going to wear them. And I bought some other like shirts and stuff like that that I was not really wearing so I gave them away and there were some jackets that I was wearing or was not wearing that had the tags on them and everything and I just gave them away as well and I am still searching on things that I can give away because what is the use with keeping them in like in my closet, in my room, when I am not using it. Think about that. Why keep something that you are not using? There are some people who have closets full of shoes and clothes that you have not worn in forever. Why not give them to some people who actually need clothes? There are many places that you can give your clothes to. You can put up an ad on Craigslist. Hey, giving away free shirts, shoes, blah, blah, blah. And people are going to contact you. If you want to do it the easy way, I am sure there are places that you can give your clothes to and they are going to take it. And there are some places that may take your donations and sell them at a very cheap price and make a profit off of it. And you may say, well, I don't want to give to anywhere that is going to make money off my stuff. Look, you are going to reap what you sow. You are giving away things that you are not going to use. So why not help another person with it, even if they do sell it? So what? You look too much on the earthly side of things and not looking at the spiritual side of things. This is your problem. Give away things that you are not using. Yes, you have worked hard for what you have, I worked hard for what I have or had. <laughs> like before, I really did not like cheap things. Now, that's pretty much all I get now. <laughs> I was silly. Well, I guess you like what you like. So, you are going to reap what you sow. So you can't lose. 
Actually, you know, what you should do too is give things to your enemies. Like myself, I constantly give to my enemies. Constantly. Like the ones that I don't really... How can I say this right? The ones that don't treat me well, <laughs> I give to them. And they are like really shocked, like, like what's going on, you know? Like, um, is it um, old or broken or something like that? No, it's pretty much brand new. And it surprises them every single time. Give to your enemies. Do it. God is going to bless you. Yes, my enemies don't deserve anything from me, but the Bible tells us to help everyone, even our enemies. So if Jesus is saying that, there is a reason for it. So I am going to get blessed if I do it, right? So why not do it? Think about that. Okay. God bless.